we don't try to jump <laughs> next time. Yeah, don't stop, don't stop. Go, 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 go. So, hello and welcome to Ring Freaks again. So, what we are up for this time? So, we are up for racing. And what we will do, so we will go for racing with Tesla Model 3 Performance and also our old mighty E90 3 to 5. So me and Linus will be driving Tesla Model 3 Performance in the GLP Green Challenge, which is the second race of electric cars in the Nürburgring. And Ray and Jens will drive the 3 to 5 in normal GLP series. So what the GLP racing series is all about. So it's not a real race, so because you can drive there with almost standard cars you only basically need the racing stickers you need the fire extinguisher and towing hooks and basically that's it the main thing the car needs to be street legal so this race is basically not for the speed and not for the fastest lap times but it's all about the consistency of the lap times so we will be driving with the tesla only six laps and ray with jens will have to do 10 laps total so how it will go so basically it goes that in the first lap is just a warm-up lap Second lap is you set your lap time, it cannot be faster, so it needs to be slower than 11 minute lap time. And in third, fourth and fifth lap time, with Tesla we will have to repeat the same lap time. It means the winner will be who will be the most precise to repeat its second lap time in the next third, fourth, fifth laps. So who will do the least difference will be the winner. However, with Linus we will try to do one thing which is not mandatory in our class. We will change the drivers in the middle of the race, so we might lose some time there. So, we'll see. Basically, we are going there for the experience and the best part of the GLP racing at the moment is that you can upgrade your racing license. It means that at the moment, me, Linus and Ray, because we didn't race for a while, we have the lowest level racing license in Germany and we need to upgrade it that we, we would be allowed to drive in RCN or VLN. So now we simply need to finish free of GLP races. We will get our training, we will do some laps and we will upgrade our licenses. So I think it's at the moment one of the easiest and best ways to upgrade your license. So that's what we are doing here. So let's see how we prepare our Tesla for this race. So as you see, Tommy is changing the camera, which was failing for the last moment. And it's already the new one. And Linus is already preparing Tesla, so maybe he will tell us a little bit more what we must do to be able to race tomorrow. So we need to put the uh, extra fire extinguisher, because it's uh, mandatory to have in the car for the MSG. We need to have front and rear towing hooks. Uh, also, marking points for towing hooks, fire extinguisher labels. Here we need to have uh, on the sides numbers racing. On the front windshield we need to have an E label for electric car. And basically that's all. Okay, so we will put the fire extinguisher here somewhere in the front. We don't want to drill anything yet in this car too much. So we'll just try to find some uh, standard mounting points where we can just uh, bolt the, the fire extinguisher. And the good part, because this car, as all cars, has only one towing hook. Luckily, we don't need to buy the second towing hook because we have bought two cars. So we will use from the another Tesla towing hook for the back and one will be for the front. I can do this with my eyes closed. So we will be drilling some holes in the end. So as you see, here is already original rivets with the thread. So we will be using the same ones in these spaces to mount the fire extinguisher. And tomorrow we will simply drive without, without the plastic bonnet in the front because we won't need it and it can be like this. So as you see already this is the, the facelift model of the Model 3 and it has the octovalve and other things to improve the range and heating. 
and it's making always these sounds. Linus is taking all the risk drilling next to the radiator, but he's a professional, so it's all fine. Explain a little bit these rivets. This rivet has thread inside, and here is small this one things. When you press it, it goes in, snaps, and holds inside the hole that I showed you. And it's done. So, we have already the fire extinguisher in the front. Maybe they will let us through the technical commission like this. These mounts, maybe you think they are weak or something like these rivets. But we have tested this uh, mounting system for a while and we know that it really holds a lot of G-forces. close the trunk. Frank. Frank. <laughs> front trunk, yeah. Frank. It's front. called Frank. Now how this one opens, you see? We These wires, uh, simply if you give uh, to the red plus and to the black minus, 12 volts, it will open the front, so you can assess the, the wires which you need to cut in case of the fire. So, in case you ever need to get to the front, you can simply give here plus and minus. So now we don't want to open the front while we are driving, so Linus will just put some tape and we will leave them there. So this car is already fully ready for tomorrow and with Tesla we are almost ready. Uh -huh. I think Tesla in the rear doesn't help. Ah, it doesn't help? <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> one towing hook was enough, yeah. more than enough. Okay, so we will skip the back one. It means Tesla is not made for towing. So now it's left just the, the racing stickers, the transponder and arrows for towing. So that marshals would see where to tow this car in case it's needed. I hope so not. First we will start for fire extinguisher. Okay, so all the stickers are on, the towing hook is in in the front because in the back there is no hole for it and the only thing which is left is to mount a transponder. Because this car doesn't have the place for transponder yet, so we will probably just mount, mount it here on the back, back seat belt so it will be close to the window because it will, will count the lap time from this side. So Linus will just use the zip ties and very simply mount it there. I think just put maybe on the top one and one through the hole size. Like yeah, I will put. Wait a second. We will try. I think it won't fly anyway. <laughs> already. I don't think also. I think it's good enough, and that's it. So we also already took the the helmet because you must drive in the track with the helmet. And basically, we are ready. While Linus is finishing to cut the zip ties of the transponder, so I will simply schedule the charging time in this car for 6 a.m. in the morning because we will be leaving a ring fix about 6 a.m. and I want to have the battery 100% charged only just before we need to leave because it's not healthy to keep the battery at 100% for the whole night or the longer period. So that's what we will do. We will charge the battery tonight and tomorrow early start and we will go for racing. So I have parked the car in our charging spot where we can basically put two cars next to each other and our charger will still reach it 
and we will simply connect it and we'll schedule it for 6 a.m. So now as you see the car stopped charging and we will set the limit to 100% which is not so good for the car but we need it for racing. Sure, now good morning. So we have a morning here in uh, Kelberg. It's sadly just like oh, it's okay, 11 degrees. It's raining now. It's 6:30, almost, and uh, we will go for tech commission now. It's a bit too early for us, but it is what it is. So our battery charging seems to be working. So now we have the 100% of the battery. So we will go now for the technical inspection. Still very dark and very cold. And as you see these small dots on the left, it means that the battery is very cold and the regenerative braking is not working at all. So yeah, for car it's also cold and early. Oh, hello and good morning from the track already. Good morning. So we have just passed the technical commission. So Linus prepared all the documents and everything for the guys to check it. And the funny part, the technical commissar read on the back dual motor and he asks Linus, so how it is? Does it have the petrol engine and also the electric or how it is? But everything is passed and uh, I will start the first three laps. Later we will change for Linus and What's up? It's very early still. Yeah, it's very early. We're still sleeping. Everyone is still sleeping. Linus even changed the, his care hat for today to be a little bit faster as well. So, yeah, we'll go to the track soon. I'm here with my Porsche Taycan Turbo. Yeah, it's a roughly 600 PS uh, uh, power machine. So it's a quite fast, uh, fast car. And uh, because it's a fast car, I think it's good to, to go on a race track. Yeah? Acceleration is, is uh, astonishing. Yeah, so it's really a great, uh, a great uh, a car to drive. Linus will be counting the laps and the timing. We'll use the Harry lap timer as a as a timing machine for us. And now we are off for the warm-up lap. So the idea that we won't be using brakes too much in this track at the moment, we will try to recharge the battery as most as we can and we will use the wet lane in most of the track because it's super slippery now so we'll simply go from middle to outside all the time not to drive on the racing line so how it works this timing thing in GLP so first lap it's always warm up so you drive uh, first lap you side see how is the track wet where is slippery not slippery normally when we start driving it on the warm lap, we also check what is the time, approximately how we can make the lap. Already and yellow uh, flag. Already yellow flag. We have the winner. Yeah. So we make the lap timing. We calculate extra time, but it would be yellow flags or something. So it stops. But we could manage uh, the lap till 16 minutes and not to be disqualified and also to do the same laps okay one yellow flag means we just cannot overtake and we just need to be careful so in second lap we set the time and later we just need to drive all the laps the same and later we win 
if we did it the same. Somebody seems to be already in the stones. <laughs> because there is a lot of stones on the track. You always go just like the when there's no left or right line to the outside a bit more and to be careful when you are crossing the racing line it will be slippery here. So we have our opponent in the back with Jaguar. The funny part that we are with electric cars saving all the electricity and still no one overtakes it. Here we should turn very very late and slowly. I think to electric cars they always wave a blue flag <laughs> because they think that they're slow. But we are in same speed. Yeah, in same speed. Because how much the scene we get all the blue flags. So 14 minutes. 14. Oh sh very slow. So in reality if Ah we go. We go. So okay. We, go. we don't stop. 1410 till here. Ah but we will do again so it's okay. It's again so So we go 100 on the left. Don't stop on the straight <laughs> easy. Let's do like this, no stoppings. We'll check the time, but it was 14, so if it's less, we stop a little bit because now it will be almost 16 minutes. But this is warm up lap, so, yeah, so now we set the time. So 15:26. Why it doesn't start? I don't know where it will start. Don't go next to the curbs in inside, and that's it. Basically, drive middle. No overtaking and code 60. You also don't speed it's 50. Yeah. Right? I see. Ah, it's the same course. And you can only it shows timing good. Yeah, all good. And you can only speed after the hill of 
the, the after the green flag, yeah. not before. So don't you know it's more straight, so we can push in some time. Ah, but wait, wait, wait! It's code 60. Code 60. Break, 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 more. Okay. It's code 60. Don't speed. Don't speed. Don't speed. Don't speed. And here will be slippery, so just go completely outside. Let him pass because he will crash. And here left. Stability control in this picture. There again on the right brake and keep the a, a bit of the outside. Don't look how he drives. Yeah. I'm still adjusting how the brake. Leave a bit more space. Okay. It will be much more grip. Now just I still outside, need to, outside, to, outside. to adjust for this how much to brake. Yeah. Understand the car. Here also can be a bit slippy. How much time? It is? It's okay. All good. We just go and on straight push, and that's it. And it will be fine. And go. Fast. Just be careful with the other guys, yeah, but, see, see, see. but basically go the middle and just push, push, I, push. I don't stop. Yeah, don't stop, don't stop. Go, 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 go. Okay, and from the green, this go from the tent. Just after go 100, but like yeah, but this, no. yeah, 100. Yeah. A bit more, go still, still push. Yeah, go like this. And now let's go 100, and it should be maybe fine. How much? 43. Okay, 45. Need to push a little bit. Okay, 50. 40 seconds to go. So okay, now from this 50 yeah. and go and I think it should be fine. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, fair. Very good. 316 black, still showing black. 53, 23. <laughs> so our teammates <laughs> were black flagged. We saw their starting number with that black flag. Probably we were just speeding on the code 60 or something. Yeah, a lot of code 60. So a lot of code 60, some crashes today, of course, very difficult uh, driving uh, conditions. It's raining, it's cold, it's still only 13 degrees, but moist is very big here. Yeah, so it's basically still very slippery. Ah, we just took this Corsa here. Ah. So in code 60, we cannot go over 60 and the car wants to go 30 super safe basically the slower the corner is the more slippery it is yeah because more rubber mm. Understood. but it's drying out i see yeah. already almost somewhere some dry spots but somewhere it's still very wet yeah, so. so here will be slippery so complete outside left 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 and in our speed i guess well this is still if you go on racing line it will be slippery so conclusion, if you're still a slow driver, but you can be very fast with Tesla. <laughs> really. And handling is good for standard car, everything. Yeah, it seems here also a little bit drying. Yeah. yeah, it's drying. Where it's no, no forest, it's drying out. In this carousel, one wheel on the black, one on that. Mm -hmm. So we are heading to the finish of the last confirmation lap, and when it will be left just for us the cool down lap and we will go to the pits and we will finish the race so we need to do 15 30 i think go we go 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 this will be perfect go go go, go. it's still left ah everybody's changing this is why yeah. everybody was rushing so okay and basically you can just push normal now yeah push 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 yeah okay so we cross the line about 15.30, so it's perfect. 
Linus will do his third lap. It's a cool down lap. And what we need to do, we need to do this lap not faster than 11 minutes, not to be disqualified, and that's it. We will finish the race. And we'll see how our opponents did precisely their laps. Uh, we did a mistake here with the third lap where we had to pit in for the driver change, most likely. Uh, but uh, our lap timing didn't work perfectly. We are really not sure what we were doing, but we were having fun basically. We were driving the Tesla on the race and uh, that's the first race for us in the Tesla and one of the first electro cars on the Nürburgring racing. So we are making the history anyway. I think to make the 11 minutes you need to be faster than 110 average speed so it's pretty fast here you should keep yeah, more outside than i wanted more. to see is dry or not dry we have to go there i think right right So we have just finished the race, so we finished six laps as well, the other guys with electric cars also finished six. Now we will wait for the results and we'll see at which place we are. So basically if we are free here finished, I don't know how much competitors will finish as well, so maybe we will be at least third. <laughs> we made some small mistake because in our race we didn't have the, the specified uh, time for driver change, so we simply with Linus fitted in in the lap where we should confirm the lap time so it was a bit tricky and i think we lost there about five seconds so it's pretty much in this race but overall we still have about 50 percent of battery after six laps it means we, with this car we can even compete in the normal glp series where you need to finish 10 laps or 12 laps but this car could do this interesting how much of the battery left for the other guys let's check so i started with around 90 percent battery capacity and now I'm at 40. So I used up 50% for these uh, six rounds or 100, roughly 122 kilometers. So in average, I, uh, on, on 100 kilometers, I use 31.5 kilowatt uh, hours. Usually in a daily routine, you, I typically use 24, 23. So it's a bit more than uh, usual. In total today, it was really great, I think. We are, with all three rounds, we had to uh, um, justify, so to say, uh, less than a minute on, on time. So, and the car, I mean, it's a four-wheel drive, yeah, and it's wet, yeah, so it was fantastic to drive, yeah, really fantastic. So, we are finally back at Ring Freaks after our first race in Tesla Model 3. So, me and Linus managed to win the third place. Uh, however, it was only three participants in our group. So we are last, but still we managed to finish and, and win third place. So the car performed perfectly. It was very, very slippery in the beginning. Later on, it started to dry a little bit. Uh, it was, I think, one of the hardest conditions in this track because it's so slippery in certain points and so grippy in other parts of the track. So you really need to adjust in every part of the track. But this car with the Pirelli tires was pretty good average for all of the track, even on the damp spots or dry spots. So we didn't have a big issues in it. We were driving simply with the whole stability and everything as a standard car. We didn't put even the track mode to save the battery because the track mode engages the electric fans in the front. So we just simply driven as a normal car on the street. We started with 97% of the battery in the beginning and now we have still left about 46-47% of the battery. So it means with Tesla Model 3 performance we can easily finish 10 laps. Today we finished 6, we still have plenty of the battery left, so it's no problem to finish 10. So it was only the second time of the Green Challenge, which is fully for electric cars, organized in the Nürburgring and we competed in it. So it's just the beginning and the organizers are very happy that we already came to compete and they hope that for next year there will be much more cars. So in the first race there was five cars, this race there were three cars, we'll see in the future. So at the moment we are very happy that we finished, that we had this experience and everything went pretty well. We're happy about the car, we have no bad words about it, it performed perfectly. 
So what we will do now, we will simply remove the racing stickers from the car as it's not so legal to drive with them on the street and we will start to prepare the second Tesla already for the cage. So stay tuned. <laughs> 